And uh, another job we get to do again in July is pick more corn. And we like these pull and twist. And then you have your corn. Well done, keep going. Oh, it's kind of hard, but I'm going to have to pull, you know, like, twist it. Go keep it twisting. Okay, give it to Mummy. Is this, is this, hopefully it's rainbow corn. Yeah, I hope it is. I can't. Oh, careful, because that's not 100% dry, that one. You're doing them a bit early. Put it down, that's it, and twist. Okay, you can do it. Go on, Mummy, twist it. I don't think you're pulling it down hard enough. That's it, and now twist. Okay. Mini corn. Oh, agrina. No, that's not agrina, it's lacing. Hello, agrina. And also, what we like, but it's really bad for plants. But we do like our puppy flowers. Very it's nice. really bad for So we won't be able to jump all that. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a bit struggly. Oh, look at all them bees. We didn't see much yesterday. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at these. Yeah, I know, right? <gasps> then we've got to have loads of cucumber for dinner tonight because we've got no cucumber oh. left at home. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that, the tassels are black. No, because look, they're just little, their pollen grains are black. Oh, Crazy. Do you see any ready corn? I think that one down there is. Can I get it? Yeah. Where did I go to that here? Just be careful not to knock it over. I think this is all green, yellow corn though. Yellow corn. Oh, that was really good. Some of them easier than others. Yeah. Um, that one there? Where? That one. Looks dry. Can I have a check? Be careful. Where is it? Just there. Straight ahead. Right here. 12 o'clock, yep. Oh my goodness. Mm. Very long. Very long corn. <laughs> oh, look at the beans. They're absolutely thriving. Underneath yeah. that netting. Yeah, with the wind. Oh, oh I see another one back here. This is the worst thing about corn. Yeah, I'm going to be scared because there's no no, there's no beans, bees with corn. They're wind pollinated. Where the wind shakes them like that, all of this pollen falls down. Right, go on, get that one. Wait, wait. Very good, here. Thank you. It's all for long. It's a lot of corn, isn't it? Yeah, there, there's another one. Come in. <laughs> Careful. This must be rainbow. I hope so. I don't know. I think these ones, are, um, I can't remember which ones are which. You should have name tagged them. I know I should have name tagged them. What great advice. You'll know for next year. Look at these beans. <laughs> you can't get them, evil bird. Oh, Mr. Bumble. A lot of them. A never crop that also makes lots and lots is cucumber. Find the cucumber then. <laughs> oh no, not a bee. Look, there's a nice big one there. Do you want me to do it? See the big yellow one? Yeah. What? Oh, give me that. Let me do it. Look, they're starting to eat these. Let's take all of them. I can't eat that. 
Slugs. I'm inside birds. <gasps> no. Rabbits. Rabbits. Dang it, how are they getting in? Yeah. Yeah. We've got loads of cucumbers. I think that's what's saving them from whatever's eating the cucumbers is they don't look like cucumbers. There you go. Can we just double check there's nothing in here? Crop that we have to do are the pumpkins. So here. We'll pop it down with the cucumbers. Oh, oh look, there's a bee in there. It's like a honeybee. Yeah. Honeybees, yeah. Uh... Want any more? Of these little, uh, these are called Jack B. Small. We're not going to carve them. What are we going to do? Eat them. You can. You make them into like a custard. Yeah. It's not eel, it's nice. Are we make pumpkin seeds. Yeah, we'll make pumpkin seeds as well. One more and I'm going to get this now. Must be smaller. There's more cool jets on the ground. Yep. These cool adventures never over. Baby. Oh my god, that one's so tiny. Got all the water. Now it's cute. It is cute, isn't it? It is so cute. So that's 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 an all size. This is dad. This is mummy. This is Bessie. This is this is the middle, and this is the youngest. So like daddy, mummy, Jasmine, and Bailey. Yeah. Is that Jasmine or Bailey? Baby, she's big. Okay. Right, do you want to see if there's any more? Uh, I already have, and it's the last, so should we do the courgette? Yeah, you do the courgette. Will they be stuck in the flowers? Huh? Can, will they be stuck in the flowers? No. Why? What do you mean? Like in the flower. What about the flowers? Will there be a bees in there? No. Why? They're closed. And then, 
I did the whole leaf with me. Yeah, you know, give it to me. And you just pop. Can I pop it? Oh, flower. Yeah. Go to make a nice little solid place. These are edible, you know. Yeah. Some people stuff them and eat them. Can I pop the flower? Yep. No. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's easy. And then the flower. What we? That's all rotten. That one. Look. Like, be careful because you cut off. You need to have a little bit of green at the top, Jasmine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's one. And for the last one, we're going to be doing this one. Quite a good one, isn't it? Do you get the blossom end off? What? It is. Bye bye, blossom end. So there's no more of them, is there? Nope. We harvested them all. We died. This is Alfie now. Look what I just found. It's the tumbling tom as I was watering. These are the um, current ones. We've got the already oh, the harvest. Here's all the ones that I can see. This one's already given us a lovely harvest, but look, more. I literally cannot remember the name of this, but I think it's a Roma. That one's really cute because it's got like a little little point at the bottom. It's like a love heart. This one's just starting to turn, look. Hundred percent sure. Oh, this one's all rotten. Look, I reckon that is sun sunburn. They can actually burn, um, and I didn't catch it, so it's actually started to rot. This is a look at that one. That one's awesome. Take that one. Finish wiping in all these on the side, but that's beautiful. Nice and firm tomato. That looks like a fifty-five, doesn't it? Ace fifty-five. Not sure. Didn't label it. Another thing we had to harvest are potatoes. Here we are harvesting potatoes from our deep mulch method. So all we use is wood chips to grow our uh, potatoes. It makes it so much easier for when we are harvesting them. Some people do also do this with hay or, or straw. Um, and but we just put wood chips because that's what was available and basically we just pile up wood chip on top of our potatoes and we grow them like that it makes it so much easier so you don't actually have to dig at all when it comes to harvesting them so that's what we're doing here um, and it's working out really great this is the second bed that we've actually harvest that we've grown this way and we have produced at least uh, oh, sorry, just under 20 kilos in each bed which is pretty good for us these ones were um, like I said before were completely neglected I didn't actually water them once even through the drought um, I did fertilize them once when I um, planted them I gave them some blood and fish bone meal and I think I gave them some um, chicken manure at the same time but that was it that's all I gave them so as you can see that this has filled up this entire container um so potatoes are quite easy to grow but there's no point of having to dig them so I'm actually putting the trenches out again and just moving the wood chip around it's very hard to see the wood chip compared to the um compared to the mud because it's so brown now all the leaves have sort of broken down in them so I'm just going to be planting out 
the same potatoes um, and have those for Christmas and making little um, troughs like you would on a traditional um, planting method but I've also put the dead plants back on top and put the same fertiliser and water in them so giving them a good water because I dare say I'm not going to be watering them again.